Do you sometimes get stamped images like this? Or like this? Anyway, I will teach you some stamping techniques to help you get perfect stamping every time. You will need a few things. Cardstock, a stamp block, ink pads, something to clean your stamps with. I use a Stampin' Up! Simply Chamois, which you just need to keep wet with water. And you will need some stamps. Stampin' Up! has two kinds of stamps. Photopolymer, which are clear. And clean rubber stamps, which are red rubber. You will need some stamp blocks. Stampin' Up! has six sizes of stamp blocks. And these are the three I use the most, but I do use the other three occasionally. So let's get started. Stampin' Up! has several styles of ink pads. Their classic Stampin' Pads are dye ink, dye-based ink. And to open them, you look at the little half circle on the one end and pull and slide. And to close, you can either push from this end or pull from this end. I usually pull from this end and then flip it over. They also have Versamark, which is watermark and also used for um, in, with embossing powder. And Memento Tuxedo Black ink which I've dropped this one a couple of times. Anyway, it's a basic black ink. We also have Stazon ink, which is used on acetate and non-paper surfaces. So let's get started. We will try, we'll first do a photopolymer stamp. Oh, you do need a stamp and pierce mat, which is a cushion for your stamps help you get a good image on any of your stamps. We'll use this large wheelbarrow with flowers. I guess I should show you without the stamp and pierce mat and hope I don't get a good image because I've Anyway, to ink it up, you just lightly pat. You don't want to get any ink on your block. So if you rock your stamp at all, um, you'll get ink on your block. So just press down and press up. Well, I got a good one this time. Anyway, now we'll try it on our stamp and pierce mat. See, look, I wasn't careful and got ink on my block. If you press straight down, you shouldn't get the ink on your project. Now we'll use our Simply Chamois to clean it off. Alrighty, and then we will use a cling rubber stamp. These come um, the sticker on. You have to put the sticker on yourself, but they do have a little foam cushion. So technically you're not supposed to need the stamp and pierce mat, but I like it anyway. And this one you have to be especially careful. 
I'll show you the rocking version first. So if you rock it at all to get it. Oh, I guess I didn't rock it enough. Okay, there. You get ink around the edges. When you stamp, go straight down, but I'm going to rock this time. And you'll get that. Now we'll ink it up again. Well, I'll show you how to clean it off. If you don't want to ink it up again, sometimes I just start over. Clean it and re-ink. But you can just use the corner of your Simply Chamois or a clean tissue to clean the ink off. And this will be second generation stamping, so it will be lighter. Second generation means you've already stamped it once, and sometimes you want that effect. So we'll clean this off. And stamp again. So just lightly tap. Check it to make sure it's inking up well. Sometimes with the, this type of stamps, you can swirl it and then stamp. And there you go. So now you know how to get perfect stamping every time. If you would like a project in your email every week, sign up for my newsletter. You'll also get a free gift when you sign up. Thanks for watching. My, oh, so my newsletter sign-up information is www.nindyscreativecorner.com and click the newsletter tab to sign up. Thanks for watching. Bye.